All right, boy, we had some unsettled weather that moved through over the weekend and more on the way. Here's Frank. Yeah, not today, though. Today, Cab, people need to take it all in. Take that sunshine in. Take in the temperatures of 7 degrees because it's the best that we're going to see over the next 7. There's a look at your satellite system this morning. Worry-free weather for your Monday. However, here's a look at your future cast through the afternoon. Mainly clear skies as we get towards this evening. You're going to start to see some cloud cover build. Tomorrow morning looks not so bad, but tomorrow as we get closer into the afternoon, Colorado low pushes its way through. We start to see a little bit of wet weather in Toronto around 1:30. Some of the higher elevations could be into some snowfall. And to the north of us, as we get into the evening, you'll see snow up through Great Bruce into Muskoka, uh, Bancroft. But Toronto, soggy conditions. Looks like 10 to 20 millimeters of rainfall. Peterborough, you should be into some rain, but you could see some possible mixing. Even the potential of some freezing rain tomorrow evening through Peterborough. And I can't rule that out uh, towards Kingston and Belleville as well. So, as I mentioned, take in today. Right now, we have a temperature right around minus three. We have minus four into Windsor this morning to the east of us. We have temperatures on average around minus six, and that is the current wind chill here in Toronto is minus six. The high today, as I mentioned, seven. Tomorrow, soggy and six is your temperature. Winds out of the east at about 20 to 40. On Wednesday, we could see a little bit of a rain snow mix. Temperatures of five. And it looks like this upcoming weekend, we're going to continue to be cool. Through the upcoming weekend, daytime highs around two and three. So take in today. That's a look at your weather now onto the roads. Hey, boo, Frankie. I don't like it. Boo. Well, right now, yay for the drive because uh, we're looking at uh, clear conditions across the GTA. No road closures ha happening um, right now, and the major routes are all pretty calm and quiet, not even spotting any delays just yet. So you should make good time getting to your destination. Enjoy the drive while it lasts. I'll send it back to you, Mel. Well, if you shop at one of the luxury brands owned by Hudson's Bay Company, you will want to check your statement after the company hit with a data breach. Now, Hudson's Bay stores have not been affected. However, the company says that customer card information may have been stolen from shoppers at Saks and Fifth Avenue, Saks off Fifth, and Lord Taylor. In fact, up to 5 million credit cards have been compromised from 83 store locations, and we are learning of those store locations included... Sherway Gardens in Toronto, Bramley City Center in Brampton, and Pickering Town Center. This happened since March 2017. HBC would not confirm, but they are asking their clients to review bank statements if you see any suspicious charges. We'll be talking to Mike Eppel in just a couple minutes to uh, break down more details here. Meanwhile, Toronto, the latest city in Ontario to adopt a hotel tax. As of April the 1st, anyone looking to stay at a hotel, motel, or hostel in Toronto, you're going to need to pay an extra 4% on your bill. The city says a portion of the municipal accommodation tax will provide funding for Tourism Toronto and support services like road repair, transit, and emergency services. It's going to apply to all rooms rented for four hours or more, as well as continuous stays of 30 days or less. It will not apply to Airbnb rentals, which are exempt. Well, it is back to work for most people today, but still a few closures that you should keep in mind this Easter Monday. All government offices, municipal buildings and services shut down today. Mail delivery not happening by Canada Post today. Banks, however, they will be open. The LCBO and beer stores, as well as most grocery stores, will be up and running. To the streets now, one person suffering serious burns after a basement fire in the Keel and Eglinton area. Crews were called to the basement of this shop around 4, just before 4.30. Inside, they found a man with badly burned hands. Everyone in the apartments above the shop, they were forced to evacuate. They have since been allowed back in. So far, there's been no cause released here. Roadways have also reopened. York Regional Police investigating street racing as a possible factor in a crash that killed a 33-year-old woman in Richmond Hill last night. Three other victims also sent to hospital after five vehicles involved at Stouffville Road in Bayview. Now, witnesses telling City News that two Lamborghinis were street racing just before this crash at 6 p.m. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene. Roadways in the area, again, just reopening this morning. So far, no word on charges. U.S. President Donald Trump seems ready to take a tough stand with Mexico as he threatens to pull out a NAFTA unless Mexican authorities do more to deal with what he claims is the illegal flow of immigrants into the United States. But Mexico has got to help us at the border. They flow right through Mexico. They send it to the United States. Can't happen that way anymore. Thank you.
What Trump referring to here is Obama's Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA. It was to provide temporary protection and work permits to hundreds of thousands of immigrants who are living in the U.S. illegally after being brought here as children. Trump ended the program last year, but gave Congress six months to pass legislation. That deal has yet to be struck. Trump blaming the Democrats. Just an hour after wishing everyone happy Easter, the president tweeting out, no more DACA deal. Meanwhile, in response to President Trump's slapping tariffs onto goods from China, the country is imposing $3 billion worth of taxes onto goods imported into the China. Beijing says starting today, more than 120 goods will be hit with tariffs, everything from steel to pork products. The U.S. has introduced plans to hit Chinese goods with nearly $50 billion in tariffs in what experts say could spark an all-out trade war between the two countries.